And we are back. This time we have an MMA tournament. And with us we have some extra people. JM. Hey, what's going on? Jug in the no mic chat. We got Pony. I have hired all the Gracies to destroy these fake fighters. <laughs> well, let's see how well that turns out. I got Voodoo, MMA fan in our Discord server. It's me, Enochiasm! God we, damn it! We got Rasta. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The moment he realized we're doing MMA, you could still see the. the he just. He bounced. He yeah. literally just went fuck you and left. Not yeah. everyone is well equipped to deal with the Nokia. And we got Zach. Jug is in the chat going NMA, NMA, NMA. It is a, it is I. We're, we're watching real JMMA, not in no, not voodoo, stupid little and Nokiaism bullshit. Get that shit the fuck out of here, fuck. <laughs> so with no, this, this is a PG show. <laughs> okay, so as I was fucking saying, we got here some fighters from Pride and K1, randomized, and this is what we have for our show. Let's start with our very first match. Wait a minute, Vulcan didn't fight in Pride. He was Legend. Do you want Legends or not? Alright, fine. I added the MMA Legends, Pride, K1. Wait, is it Kira Maida in this? No. No. He, he didn't make it in the randomized. It was like the first 32. <laughs> the, MMA legend. the first 32, and this is what I got. Our very first one is Gary Goodridge and Henzo Gracie. Oh, Jug, you can go to you can go to hell. Okay, JM, repeat what Jug said. When are we going to have a Nokiaism show? Oh, you can fuck right off. <laughs> we are not doing hey, we are not do doing it, that. Do it, hey, and Nokiaism's underrated. We, we are not doing that. <laughs> both, both of you shut the fuck up. <laughs> here comes Henzo Gracie, one of the Gracie dynasties. So Pony's boy here, as he faces off Gary Goodridge, coming out soon. The, the, the uh, fun fact about Henzo, he was the only Gracie that was actually semi-competent as a striker. Oh, Sakuraba's in the tournament, Jug. He's against oh, yeah. Ryan Gracie. Uh, of course. Oh, sorry. So in other words, I forgot to mention. The, so in other words, he's the only Gracie that does MMA properly. Hey. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, Actually, you still know that that's actually that's 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 guys, 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 guys. Of... Buddha's trying to say something. What are you saying, Buddha? There was an open. There's an open chat option inside the uh, stream channel itself now. Okay, well, it's a little too little too late. I got the note in my chat. You could use that, but I'm probably not going to see it. All now right. here comes Gary Goodrich. All right, so... Oh, God damn it. No! Yeah. I'm being pinged! He's coming oh, at wow. you. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor! The YouTube national anthem. Well, at least it used to be. Oh, yeah. Remember when that was the YouTube anthem? Oh man, those are the days. Nah, that wasn't the UFC theme jug. I, sa I said the YouTube anthem, not the UFC anthem. No, I'm answering Jug's question. The UFC theme was Face the Pain by Stem, I think they were called. Yeah, uh, they, they didn't have that. They didn't have that song yet. That right? this <laughs> I'm sorry, but Face the Pain, that just reminded me of that Xavier Renegade Angel show when anyone beats up <laughs> Xavier. Take All right, here that. we go. Taste the pain. <laughs> Look at that. He's punching him. And he's punching back. So I take it everyone wants to see Gary Goodridge. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Goodridge. Mainly because Pony's got Gracie, so seeing the Gracies lose all in the first round would be funny. Well, read what Judd said, uh, of course. Let the body hit the floor. Best sentence to describe MMA. Well, it is true. Jug was probably watching the under uh, the prelim the prelims of the of a UFC card. Jug, you willing to give Dana White your ninety dollars? You want to know something? I have a request show. A oh dear. A big oh dear. Will. Oh dear. What could it be? 
Your job is to get less than 30% average. Well, you can go to hell. We're, we're not sit we're not gonna be intentionally sabotaging shows. Well, okay. <laughs> Is that even possible? Uh step one, World Japan crowd. Step two, make it like five minute long. So that way the match is short, no one could be satisfied with the short matches. And then of course step three, double count out. You know what? I gotta set up those rules. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a uh, that's oh. gonna that 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 yeah that's gonna be uh, uns people uh, causing people to unsubscribe. Yeah, uh, like I want to make a good request show, pony, not bullshit. But oh, speaking no, of, no, 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 it about, can be uh... good to, no, no. Here, here's the thing, it can be good to us. It's just not good to the crowd here. Lowest match I ever simmed. I think that was Masanobu Fuchi versus Kendo Kashin, where Fuchi tried to do a kick on Kashin. Kashin grabbed it, hit him with an ankle twist, critical, win in under a minute, and rating was 33%. All damn it, he crowd. damn you, damn you, Henzo Gracie. That is right, everyone. Unfortunately, Henzo Gracie won the match by submission. And now let's see what the MMA maniacs thought of right, this what bout. A, yeah, what a data light would rate this match. They hated it. 53%. Wait a second. I think I... Let me see this. Oh, fuck. I think what? I accidentally set it to a wrestling crowd. <laughs> hey, what? Hey. Are you sure? You sure? <laughs> I think so, because I went with the bottom one for the crowd. I was like, that's the MMA. Then I realized, oh, fuck. No, it's the second no. to the top was the it's MMA. Second, <laughs> sec yeah, second to last is MMA. Oh, no. Hey, J hey guys, guys. You wanted that Enochiism? You got it yeah. now. <laughs> nah, nah, fuck this. Oh, wait. <laughs> we are not restarting shit. We gotta restart. We gotta restart. No. I, okay, no. guys, guys, no. guys, guys. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to do a vote. Do we reset? I'll start one at a yeah. time. One at yeah, a time. Yeah, JM. Let's restart. Restart, yes or no? Um, I'm neutral. <laughs> okay. Jug is probably saying restart because I saw him type that out. So, Pony, Voodoo, Zach. <laughs> no, we have, we, have to, we have to go on with this. Fuck you, Pony. <laughs> I think I think majority rule we're resetting. Oh Judge shit! Said no. Wait. Oh, I saved the safe state before. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Oh! I, uh, uh, my, uh, yeah, should we keep this in? <laughs> we are keeping yeah. this. We're gonna do it. You <laughs> wanted a Nokiaism tournament. Here's your Nokiaism tournament, damn it. Oh, this is sacrilege. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I can't wait to see what Jug has to say. No, Jug says no, restart, restart. <laughs> I did, and look what happened. I ain't gonna go through adding everyone all again and again. That took like three minutes. I'd rather just get through this because we're already recording, damn it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just uh, man, now, we're live. We're live, pal. No, thank you. Fuck that. Yeah, we, oh, we right. Now it's at 100%. <laughs> we get to watch this again. Wait, Jug says, Why are you sabotaging my show? <laughs> thank goodness this isn't my show. All right. Uh, speaking of a Okay, show, you know I what? I think, okay. Should we really reset all the way back to make up for yeah. that? Yeah. All right. Give me a second, everybody. Okay, so that happened. Now we have a real MMA show. So if you love Gary Goodridge and Ryan Henzo Gracie beating each other up, you get to see it again. Otherwise known as Voodoo's best day ever. <laughs> we live yet? We live now? Oh, we've been live for the past 20 seconds. Oh, all right. Wait, we're live already? <laughs> we were always live. So I'll just skip straight to the match itself. Pony. I feel, I feel bad for anyone watching this. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there have been far worse things we could have done. Yeah, no, like, yeah. like, well, for example, you got no, something in the that. background <laughs> that I can hear. Who, me? Yeah. It's a fan. I got the No, no, not it. a fan. It sounds like there's like some video game, like a Kirby game or something with all the jingles. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean like a... Yeah, that thing. Stop doing if it. You, if you know, you know. I wish I knew. That's why I hate it. It's <laughs> balloons. Oh. No, that's on the computer. I was about to say. I don't know. I'm I one of the biggest legends and stars ever. In this. <laughs> T-shirts of too tight, too Billy. <laughs> and Henzo Gracie. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to. I think that's considered what? rape in some countries, what just happened there. Oh. Well, to be fair, anything would be considered rape on Twitter. Oh, yeah, that website. So, yeah, it's going to be a three rounds, five minutes, if all... Oh! Two. What? <laughs> German, German, German him on his neck! Okay. You missed your As I was going to say, if all three rounds pass, judges will decide who wins. And our three judges, um, the people who couldn't make it into the tournament that sound like everyone wanted to see, such as Kimo, Mike Tyson, and Yuji Nagata. I'm still surprised you guys wanted to see Yuji Nagata in this. Dude tapped out Kimo. He can do it. Oh yeah, that shitty match. Oh, how, how can you call that shitty? It was he literally Kimo. just Kimo beating him up for eight minutes, and then oh, all of a sudden, no. one hook curl, and then your winner, Yuji Nagata. But don't you see? That's what makes the Nokiaism fun. That's what no. makes MMA fun. <laughs> now it's just like, oh, Gary Goodrich oh. wins now. Wow, he literally he was screwed. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he actually lost. Easy fair and square. Easy dub. Easy. He, Renzo had the win, and you guys just had to screw him over. Well, um, Gary Goodrich that was gets in the all back. that was in the Anokiaism alternate universe. Now we're at the real universe. Yo, <laughs> yo, eighty-five percent MMA. That's far better than the fifty-three we had. So I think that's, we're okay with that. That's much better. And now Gary we all the evil. Oh shit! All the evil Wait, ones. I, I get the feeling IRL Volkan would have washed Gracie. When it comes to the grapples, that would have been an interesting thing to see. So this is definitely going to be a lot of people's favorite fight of the tournament in the first round already. Hero screwing another wrestler. Okay, first off, Henzo Gracie isn't a wrestler. Yes, he is. Yeah, in your well, mind. Technically, grappling can be considered a form of wrestling. He's so, jujitsu. Yeah. That's a fighting technique, not wrestling. It's, it's Brazilian. It's Brazilian wrestling. Brazilian yeah. wrestling. What's gonna be next? We're gonna count that martial arts in India, wrestling too, whatever they call it, where they wrestle what? in the mud. Yeah, that yeah. would be wrestling. Oh my gosh. It's well, either way, here's Volcan. Indian mud wrestling's even better when you throw in a couple of women or some sexy men. Well, if you did it in India, that's just gonna be a bad idea, considering you know, India when it comes to sexual harassment. Oh. Then again, I guess Pony, like considering the orphan blood thing, I think he is also behind what happens there too in India. No, we do not condone sexism. Well. Oh. Oh, in fact, in fact oh. one guy tried to grope one of my female employees and we shot him dead. He killed his family as well. That's a little extreme. But either yes. way, here we are, uh, Hoist Gracie, Volkan. Who do you got, JM? Um, uh, Volkan. Yeah, Zach? Oh, oh, oh. All wrestling is grappling, but not all grappling is wrestling. I don't know. I mean, if you're you're kind of wrestling a guy's foot as you're going for a heel hook, if, if that makes sense. No. Or is he going to bite your foot? Oh, no. No, worse. He's going to tickle it. The worst fighting style <laughs> ever. No, he's going to lick it. Okay, oh, I don't like think Quentin Tarantino's MMA style is actually a legitimate style. 
So it's like SpongeBob versus not Rick. Forget the chum bucket. This My is name's not Rick. Rick. Ugh. Ah! No, ah! please, please stop, Voodoo. That that that's a that's a little too much detail. <laughs> you don't remember, you don't remember the episode. I remember Bob. it. I remember it. It's just All the right, details then. were too much for me at the moment. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to mute myself for a bit. Dogs are barking. Yeah, I was about to ask that. It's like your noise basically woke up the dogs, and now they're gonna say this is personal now. All right, here we go. So, Zach, what about that audience. move? Uh, it's pretty great. But wait, do you see this move? Or this move? The crowd loves it when you reverse. But guess what else the crowd loves? Zach. What? What else does the crowd love? Hentai? No. Go to your room, Zach. Now, either way, back to our thing here. Round one. What happened here? It existed. Just like Pogs. What would you... Who do you think won that round? I have no idea. I don't watch this shit. Uh, Volkheim, probably? JM, who do you think won? Uh, I'm thinking on me. Uh, it's been a lot of uh, counters on any move they try to do so far in this round. We I might actually be the rare three round. Maybe. It's, or it could be who's going to get their submission critical first. Oh, yeah. Or submission in general. Oh, I heard a break bone sound effect there. Damn! You heard that, Voodoo? Yeah, Damn like you, a... Hoist Gracie! That was pretty painful. <laughs> so, um, Jug just sent me a note saying Paris will burn again tonight. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Like, and... Bulk. 79. He broke his arm. He's like, Volk! Volk! Well, Volk. keep the fire away from the Sistine Chapel, then. Uh, that's Rome. That's, that's in Italy. You're thinking of Notre Dame, kid. I mean, it's like when, um, in in the Mike Tyson knockout compilation that she was on the dinosaur, when Mike got knocked out, you hear the kid yelling, Mike! 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 All right, next up we got Semi Schilt and Mark Coleman. Who do you guys got for this one? Uh, Schilt's got the reach advantage. I'm going with the hammer. I'm Mark Calm. I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna do the actual MMA commentator thing and, and do the keys to victory. The the keys to victory for Schilt are keep it standing, use his reach advantage. While Coleman has to get him to the ground and keep him. Alright. And now some Mark Coleman facts because Jug said so. The first Mark Coleman fact I can give you is, did you know that around 2007 when Pride had an MMA show in America, he was in the main event, he brought his kids to watch it in the front row as he got destroyed. He had like a bruised black eye and all of that, and he's hugging his daughters while saying I love you all so much. It was such a weird thing to see. And there he is. Another uh, fun fact. He was in a lot of... St like, he actually was trained to be a wrestler here and there. With uh, oh, yeah. Hustle Zero One. Wait. Wait. Is it, is it Mark Coleman deaf? Or am I thinking of a different fighter with a nickname that has... I never heard about him being deaf. Well, it sounds like we got a 50-50 on the crowd here for who wins this fight. Hopefully, yep. it's a fight that people will say, hey, that's pretty good. 
don't know where it's going to be shit. It can't be as bad as, you know, the pro wrestling crowd choice. Ugh. Oh, wow. Just does a left hook to start the fight. So far, Coleman was doing good at keeping... Like, yeah, like that. That's how he has to win, is to basically use the lack of reach from Schilt against him. <clears throat> JM, tell us some stories. Uh, what kind of stories? Stories about wrestling. What, what the shit? Were those headbutts earlier? They will be in the future. No, I... I literally think Mark Coleman has headbutts in his mouth. Well, he did a takedown there. Some good strikes. Yeah, oh, he Schultz blocked got... Schultz's kick there, but Schultz Ooh, came back. He didn't block that knee, though. He's doing good on those moves. He's smothering him. And Clinching. that's the end of round one. I think Coleman has the slight advantage after that round. Yeah. Coleman was landing more shots. Oh, knees to the shoulders. Ah, uh, yes, the Kazuyuki Fujita special. Oh, nah, yeah, his he is headbutting. His knees are to your head. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought those were knees to the head. Let me he see. blocked another semi Schilt special. No, he's just Let's, punching him oh. by the ropes. Oh. Whoa, German. Oh! Referee says, no, oh, keep going. Oh, that's it. Oh! Oh, forget God about damn. it. damn! Schilt with an out-of-nowhere round, like, just a kick to the top of Con Coleman's head. Man, he was like, man, you go to hell. He yelled again. Yep. Knocked out again. All right, let's see what the crowd thought. Ah. 84. They liked it. Second, second highest match of the night. All right, Mark Kerr, Peter Ertz. Did you hear any noise? That was me talking to my brother just now. I didn't hear any noise from you. All right. I've hearing from Pony, but not you. All right. Why, should we want to hear you? <laughs> this is an ASMR. I don't like ASMRs. You already know this by now. No, I didn't. Well, uh, when it comes to ASMR, it's a mixed bag. Like one of one of the one of the one of the things I think could work well with ASMR is the uh, is the Family Guy clip where Peter. Uh, has that coalition of bad people and they're just groaning and burping and like... <laughs> I don't know how anyone could find that, like, good. This is Voodoo we're talking about here. Oh I yeah, like... that's right. <laughs> and Voodoo would be laughing. <laughs> well, here's Mark Kerr. He's actually an unlockable character in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 on the Nintendo 64. Oh, cool. I'm not going to get too graphic with the ASMR on this stream, though. Yeah, oh. let's keep it that way. He also... Yeah. Oh, my back's killing me. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, so it's a junior and junior theme song. Yes. Man, where is Jug when you need it? I mean, Skittles. Sorry, I messed that up again. That's... <laughs> Pony, stop messing with your mic like that. It's kind of annoying. And there's Peter Ayers. He's here to do th two things, kick ass and chew bubblegum. Unfortunately, they gave him juicy fruit, so he can't chew it for long before he loses all the flavor. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was fruit striped gum that really loses all its flavor really quickly. I don't know. No. Pony, you're no, doing that you. thing with the headset again. My gosh, man. I'm trying to fix the fan. Okay. Now, a fun fact by Jug. Did you know that UFC announcer Bruce Buffer and UFC fighter Frank Trigg fought in an elevator with Dana White in it while it went down about a watch? Buffer won the fight. 
Wow, that's not good when your announcer could beat your fighter. At that point, that's when you fire the your fighter. Release them from their contract. Let's see what other crazy things we got for Mark Kerr fun facts. He was actually part oh. of some of the, as I was going to say, before Voodoo went like a child on Christmas morning. Did you know that Mark Kerr was actually part of some of the very first Zero One shows in 2001? No, I did not. Okay. I'm sorry, by the way. I just mark out hard over a good suplex. You mark out for a lot of things. Yeah. Would you believe that Jonathan Coachman had 29 matches? Oh, dear. None what? of them were good, I bet. All of them in WWE, right? Yeah. Someone get Ring of the Hawk. Oh, he did. Man. Oh, he did do him. Okay. I'm still waiting for Blitzkrieg from WCW. And a lot of smothering again. I don't think these two are like... I don't know much about Peter Eretz. Oh, the crowd not liking, liking the repetitive this year. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was just Marker just trying to like... I have no idea what he was trying to do, but the crowd didn't like it. In the path guard, it's so, who likes to know the sample selections for All Star Pro Wrestling 3's body make? Oh, like some of the creations you can make? Oh, and Mark Kerr won by oh, the With the oh. knees, of course. No, I'm talking about like the sample selections, like the presets. Yeah, like the ones you can make out of. Yes. You uh, got Makai number one. Kazuski Sakuraba. Super strong machine. Nobuhiko Takada. Ibisan. Osamu Kido. Kurt Angle. Keiji Muto. Animal Warrior. Atushi Onida. Hawk Warrior. Naira Ogawa. Satoshi Kojima. Kendo Kashin. Genchiro Tenryu, Giant Kamala, Takeshi Kikuchi, Stan Hansen, Takihiro Murahama, Bob Sapp, The Predator, Steve Corino, The Rock, Abdullah the Butcher, Tom Howard, Toshiaki Kawada, some white man in a t shirt. Emotion Wait, that's Black. his name? White man in a t shirt? No, white man t shirt white. Motion Black. Or Arabic and Russian style IT. Okay. Well, now we have Hicks and Gracie and Ernesto Hoost. I accidentally pressed start. So we don't get to see their entrances, but we already know Gracie comes out to the Gracie theme. But can Hoost turn it around and beat legendary Hicks and Gracie? What it is, if we can turn around. <laughs> what was that? Like this three bump 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 out of nowhere. That that was a weird. Oh yay. So who do you guys want to see win this fight? I already know Pony's Personally, answer. Ernesto who's realistically Enzo Gracie would wash him. Oh, this oh. is Hickson. Oh Hickson, my mistake. So many Gracies with R's. Well, if you're a Gracie without an R, then you're not a real Gracie. <laughs> Someone better tell that to Daniel, Gracie. Yeah, some, somebody tell that No, to his name is Randall, Gracie. Oh. Well, after round one, I think Gracie was the advantageous one. Somebody you think? Oh, well, he's doing some kidney punches there. No, it's knees. Mona Gracie. Oh, it's got him there. These MMA promoters are screwing over the Gracie name. You know, the Jug's got a question. Uh, what happened to the Gracie fought in UFC not too long ago? That's no, not over yet. Come on, don't lose. Oh, oh you got it. Oh, by the way, 
Would you like to say that to their faces? Can you stop saying that when I'm trying to make a goddamn point? I know, but it's like, if you're gonna shit on them, I want you to shit on them in their face. I want you to shit on their face, basically. Um... Alright, our uh, next fight. This is gonna be a very embarrassing fight. Is there something you want to tell us first? <laughs> uh, yes, no. I want to see Zach be wild and rambunctious in front of the Gracie family and see how they react. No, stop. I'm trying to eat. Okay, let's continue on. Speaking of eating, you're going to see someone that eats a lot in this fight. Eats a lot of shit. Sure, like, why not? Very well. Uh, coming out is Rampage Jackson. Coming out to Who Let the Dogs Out. Go, 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 go. You know this game is from the early to mid 2000s when it has a Baja Men song yeah. on it. Isn't that right, JM? <laughs> yeah. It's like they only had two songs I ever heard on the radio Who Let the Dogs Out and Can You Move It Like This? And then after that song, they just vanished off the face of the earth. Uh, oh my gosh, where is Rasta when you need him? His World Japan representative is in this fight. One half of the WMG Tag Team titles in Rasta's save file. And a guy who eats a lot. This guy, Akibono. The guy Big who, boy! The guy who fought off the greatest match ever. Oh yeah, with Kish and Kawabata, that match. <laughs> Him and Kawabata in front of a Noah crowd got a 90%. The greatest cool. match in history. Let's see if he can pull it off again. Uh, no, he's money, going to die. For my money, the greatest thing I ever saw with Aki Bono was his sumo match with Big Show. So much sumo cake. I wish ah! you never said that. Now, uh, JM, what's your favorite Aki Bono moment? I, ha I have Zach, what's your favorite Aki Bono moment? I haven't seen it. Probably the moment when... Uh, voodoo. Oh, I, uh, I already know. Never mind. Uh, pony. <laughs> when he sat on someone's head. I was talking about wrestling, not sumo. Because that was going to be the joke. Oh, he won the all. Oh, he won the all Japan triple crown. Yeah, that was not a good time. Yeah, it was. If you were an Akibono fan. Not if you're an All Japan fan. Because attendance went down, and it was all during that Shiraisi era where everyone hated working in All Japan. You need to tell us about that story. Oh, yeah. Because I want to know a lot about that era. Okay, now I guess the real question is, can Akibono last one round with Rampage Jackson? That would be a hard yes. Well, he's actually almost there. Yeah, he's actually made Jackson bleed. Well, I'll be. I swear, if he beats Jackson... JM, do you think he has a chance of beating Jackson at this point? Uh, no chance in hell. Alright. So he's actually very aggressive. If I recall, he's only ever won one MMA kickboxing fight. Hold on, let me unplug and replug my oh, thing. Okay, uh, Jug sent a question. Uh, Rampage wants to dry help someone. Which one of you sacrifices himself for the group? Well, I already know that's Voodoo. No, 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 nope. pass. Nope, too late. You already accepted. No, 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 pass. All right, then it'll be Zach. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I've got to say Jug since he can't speak back. Ooh. Come on, Bono, you can't lose. 
Oh, shoot. Look at Jackson. He's like a freaking... Circling him like a predator. Oh, yeah. But he's not the predator. Oh, oh he won with a body slam. Oh! Look at that, Look at that power. He's Ew. still stuck in a locker in Tokyo. That's right, Jug. You know what that means? If he dry humps the locker, you're still safe. You'll just dry hump the locker that you're in. See? It's a win-win for everyone. You're not raped, and Jackson raped something. A fucking locker, though. He's like, I'm still stuck in a locker in Tokyo. He got Andre. And the crowd loved it. Yo, can someone get Jug out of the locker? I thought he already was out. But Jug, you, you know you just JL, the you're not talking a lot in these commentaries. You can go over there, you Brad and nah, while we take <laughs> over for you. Just, we'll see you. Well, actually, Pony did say he's fixing his mic. He was gone for a bit. I guess you could say that was him leaving to take care of it. No, of course. Give me your pick lock. I'll go do it. I don't got one. Here, I'll let this person do it. Oh, that uh, Demon Slayer anime. Yes. I've never seen it. I know the manga for it is really popular. In fact, it outsold every DC and Marvel <laughs> comic combined in America a while back. What manga? Demon Slayer. You know, oh. You know, uh, Chris, I got a funny story for you. I saw this one Japanese uh, YouTube channel playing uh, K106, right? K1 2006. He, he, he does the grant, he does the one night tournament, and he does random select. Who uh -oh. do you think he chooses in random? Who do you think random select gives him? Some terrible fighters. It gave him Aki Bono, and he's like, Aki Bono. He's like Aki Bono, eh? Aki Bono. They're like Aki Trasho. Oh, oh! I will not tolerate slander of the man who gave us a WrestleMania moment with Big Show. I can slander a man who's only ever wanted to fight by decision. Now here we have Gilbert Evail and Fedor. Oh god, poor Gilbert. Now, Pony, of a scale of 1 to 10, how dead do you think Gilbert would be at the end of the day? Well, the type of dead he's gonna be is he's wishing he's back in America. Alright, now JM, if you were to t give any advice to Gilbert Evail in this fight with Fedor, what do you give him? Wait, I'm sorry, what? If you were to give Gilbert E. Vale an, a, any advice in this fight against Fedor, who, what do you give him? Uh, get out of the ring and run. <laughs> Zach, would you say the same thing, or would you actually try to help him? Um, I, I, I'd actually try, I'd actually try and be a proper second. And, and, uh, oh. yeah, this fight's gonna end very quickly. That was the best 20 seconds. He tries to go for a powerball. Fedor blocks it, punches him down on the ground in one swing, and then mounts him. Here's here's <laughs> my advice. Oh. You know, if like, Gilbert, if, I, I'll be shocked that Gilbert Ivel somehow pulls this off. I would be shot. Oh wow, he's basically tell. Oh, that was a foot stomp. Ba basically tell him to get on his horse and and stay away from Fedor. If, if you let Fedor catch up to you, you're going to the ground and you're going to be stuck there. Well, he's making Fedor bleed, so that's what an advantage he, on his side. He, he you know what? Gilbert needs, a, Gilbert needs an equalizer. A he, better hope that a, uh, he better hope that a critical doesn't happen from Fedor. I have some advice for, I have some advice for Gilbert. Russia, number one, Netherlands, hot track. Well, I don't so think that's cool. advice. I think that's just you doing a Iron Cheek promo. Oh, here goes. Shoot oh, Fedor no. in the face. Shoot him. You got the gun in your hand. Shoot him. Wait. He gave up in the <laughs> red. <laughs> that is amazing. They're continuing to. He was saved by the bell. There you go. Not yet. There you go. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> you saved by the bell. You have 40 seconds of survival now. Do what you want with it. And he's dead. Yeah, he's still not moving. 
my gosh, I remember one time for a match for a sim, I well like when doing that trying to get that bonus show for World Japan. Road Warriors against Vader Doctor Death. Ooh. All of a sudden, the Road Warrior that was Hawk, who was not the legal man, got criticaled by Vader, and they had to do a handicap match around an unconscious Road Warrior Hawk. And here comes the best part. Animal one. What? What was what was the rating on that? Sixty-seven percent. Really? It's World Japan. Oh, oh you meant to get out of out of Hawk Four. I guess out the crowd of, didn't like that Hawk decided to take a nap in the middle of the ring. Out of out of animal pulling off a miracle is a but, well, we got an interesting fight here. We got France's kickboxing legend himself, Jerome LeBanner, who unfortunately lost a fluke fight to Tadao Yasuda that many, including myself, consider a fluke. Uh, not a fluke, a fix. You'll know that, you'll know that Seth Rollins usual. Rhodes match that happened not too long ago. Yeah. World Japan would be like, nah, 65%. Ah, uh, yeah. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we must now put earplugs in our ears as Voodoo gushes over this next opponent. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Oh my gosh. The junk just oh, got God. the right emoji there at the right second. There is white stuff everywhere! My gosh, I'm glad I'm on a different side of the commentary table here. Uh, JM, JM, do you have any of those uh, Zorbies or whatever they were called, ShamWow or something over there? I think we're going to need like a 12 case. My gosh, this is disgusting. This, my God. No wonder why you're never invited for the Bukakis, Voodoo. Oh, that's awful. Oh. If you, if you allow, nah, this is what he. This is what. This is what Jug did. Oh, the summoning circle. Oh my gosh, Pony has the picture of Mister Clean. Lud. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh! How many seconds did it say? Jerome LeBanner, one punch, 13 seconds. Fujita got blown the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, and they loved it! They loved it! That is amazing! It's not funny, it's hilarious. No. That's the, that's the, uh, yo, that's the match of the street, that's the match of the video no, so far. Yeah, that is, that is amazing. That is the best match of this Boys. tournament. Now, and Antonio, Boys. and Inoki is not a happy camper right now. Boys. He's yeah, just, happy. he's just putting, was, he, he's got that, was, like, oh, sorry, Zach, bringing, go first. I was bringing, I was bringing my sandwich to my mouth, and, and the, and the punch happened so fast, I fucking missed it. All I see is critical the time, and here y'all laughing. <laughs> yeah, I was looking to know my chat, so I didn't see the Saitama strike either. Oh my god. Inoki is not a happy camper right now. He's like... Sm sm throw sm he's like ramming chairs into the wall. <laughs> Somebody will have to clip that and send me that. Oh, we will take care of that. But, uh, this is <laughs> Igor Vovchanchin versus Don Fry coming up next. So, we're Will gonna... We, uh, yo, Enoki, when Fujita comes back at New Japan HQ. <laughs> <laughs> Have these two ever fought IRL? I don't think so. Damn. But, uh... Because it sounds like it would be fun IRL. Yeah. Enoki's about to fire Kazuki Fujita. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh. remember that famous Facebook meme of the Indian guy? It's like, 
Murasil is no longer my friend. It is now Hashid or something like that. Yeah. It's like something like that, but they just MS paint it with like him with Yuji Nagata. <laughs> Fujita is no longer my protege. Yuji Nagata is now my new protege. Inoki literally pulls out a galley gun and just starts shooting. In no, Inoki, Inoki pulls out the BFP 9000 from Doom and shoots him with it. Oh. oh come on, that's just a lame ass explosion. Um. Have you not played Doom before? Do you... No, because I'm a man. The BFG what? Gives, uh, I gives play them... Hello Kitty because I'm a man. That doesn't make you a man. That makes you a very confused individual that I don't think I could get away with saying the proper term on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we couldn't get away with saying the proper term because Voodoo is here and he would be offended. Well, oh, come on. <laughs> Voodoo's the guy that loves fart jokes. Yeah. And besides, you've seen that one site we saw, Zach. <laughs> we, we, I'll just say it well, this way. Well, so far, Don Fry is doing better than what Fujita did. He survived those punches. I'll just say it this way. <laughs> we call you a bundle of sticks. Hey. Eh, it's not my fault I'm a sexy man. Though I'd assume the word you, you were going to use is the British term for cigarette, am I right? Yes. Oh, that's the same thing. Yes, that word. <clears throat> yeah, I thought. Or the oh, French term for good. someone that lives in Paris. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh not again. Oh, hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey. At least he lasted longer than Fujita by a good two minutes and eight seconds. Well. <clears throat> hey, guys, guess what? We're going wild tonight. Holy shit, I just won a powerball for two tanks of gas! Holy shit, that's amazing! No, I know, it's awesome! You gotta spread that around for us, we need some boys, of that boys, tank. Boys, boys, <laughs> 80, 83% off a of critical. Oh, Yo, the Igor crowd did. loves criticals. Yeah, yeah, Igor, destroyed Don, Igor destroyed Don Fry in how, how long? Two uh, minutes, 23 seconds. I thought, it, I thought it was two and a quarter, as in 225. <laughs> Man, I man, well, wish gas was that price again. Man, Critical <laughs> City right now. Oh my gosh. We next up. Oh boy, this is uh this is gonna be a murder. Daijiro Matsui versus Naoya Ogawa. Let's just place our bets. How many of you think Matsui can survive one round? Nope. You, you never know. If 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 this match goes 60 seconds, I will be flabbergasted. You gotta remember, our hero Yuji Nagata tapped out Kimo. Anything can happen. Oh my gosh, that was... out of nowhere. But, Freaking. Freaking uh, Voodoo, would you like to tell us some stuff about Matsui's pride Jesus. career? Nah, I'm good. He uh, was shit. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was legitimately a bag of shit. If I recall, his record's like 18 wins, 33 losses. Yeah. I wouldn't call that outright shitty. Definitely journeyman, though. No, that that is not good for any in, career. Wait a minute. In, I hear boys, NWA. Boys, boys, boys. In boxing, that'd probably be considered a journeyman career. In MMA, you're a bag of shit if you have a record like that. That's how That's right. different... Naoya Ogawa entered Pride matches to the NWA theme. He also entered to one time into a Hashimoto's theme. Oh yeah, as respect. Oh yeah, we need to find the hustle theme. The hustle theme will probably be like that. Yeah, I Oi oi oi, it's a hustle! Mamma mia. Please, please stop. Alright. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Jug, if you. How happy are the people in France of Jerome LeBanner's amazing victory over Fujita? Are they celebrating in the streets? I. 
I take it. I take it. Parisians are so happy that they're burning their own cars out of pure happiness. <laughs> yeah, like what happened with that World Cup from uh, 2018. Oh, speaking of, me and Zach are gonna be watching the World Cup this year. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's just two qualification matches left: Australia, <laughs> Peru, and United Arab Emirates. No, not sorry. I forgot, Isn't they got fun? eliminated by Australia. It's Australia, Peru, and then Costa Rica, New Zealand. Anyway, how about Tom and Frank celebration? No, that's a Parisian. You Wait till you see, like, say, uh, say the city of Nice. I hear they're very nice. You mean Nice? I don't care. I'm an Englishman. I will pronounce it however I want, because it belittles oh. my enemies. Oh, so you're, uh, so you're an Englishman. Let's just talk about fannies! You sound like a German. Oh, that... I'm a Dongan. <laughs> My gosh, I can art. No wonder why I don't get many views in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you you see, got Europe is a different country from the United States. I... Well, that's because one's a continent and one's a country. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You stupid hold motherfucker. On. I can't believe how uh, fucking stupid you are. <laughs> there is the European Union. It might become the Europe states. Nah, I'm, I don't I'm, think I'm so. I'm a bit scrambled. I'm a bit scrambled right now. My apologies. You saw Fujita's punch, and you're still suffering from the p impact. No, no, I missed Fujita's punch when I was looking up no mic chat. No, you get the mistake. joke, though. Yeah. Well, Joe no says, girls. you know, most of you want to watch the World Cup just to see the pretty girls in the crowd. Well, that's what 90% of the viewers do anyway. No. No. But this is, it's in Qatar, so we don't know if they're going to allow that this year. Because oh, they were yeah, saying yeah. stuff like they were going to try to reduce it. Which I think is a bad idea, because... Qatar is a, 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 a Muslim nation, remember that? Muslims, Muslims make the... How oh, much do we want? I know. I'm so. I'm in. I, my mouth is a bit agape because I did not see that happening. Ogawa, we all guy. believed in you. <coughs> and you lose to that bastard. Wow. Plus two. Noki is gonna be even more angry now. You lost to a piece of shit from Takata's camp. Like not even Takata likes him. Thank gosh. Well, the crowd likes him. Eighty-five. Yeah, but there. gotta remember. Okay, this is gonna be a good Ooh. fight. This I can already hear Voodoo salivating at this. Like, he's probably getting his old Pride DVD set up to see if he could find if this ever happened. Don't I'm worry, no I sent him some tissue and lotion. I uh, know. Uh, dear. Worst. As a Pride guy, I can tell you, unfortunately, no, this fight never happened in actual Pride. Well, let's pretend it, it's happening now for the first time ever. Uh. And of course, when you think Carlos Newton, you think of the greatest British rock band ever from New Jersey, Bon Jovi. <laughs> Come on, JM, sing the song. Oh, Batting Hat's here. Welcome. Hey, Batting Hat. Carlos Newton isn't even technically British. He's from the Virgin Islands. Yeah. Because oh, it's an MMA. Have... Oh, wait, this is Merkel Krokop coming out to Bad Medicine. You know, that kind of makes sense. It's an 80s song. Well, to be fair, though, everybody on the Virgin Islands are Virgin. Oh, my gosh. Batty Hat missed a... I'm going to have to clip it and send Batty Hat what happened, because he's going to die of laughter. Let's not spoil what happened. I want him All to right. see it with just the way we did, out of nowhere. But here comes... Oh, Carlos Newton, yeah. Is this supposed to be Bow and a Bawa? Uh, no, this is Gary Goodridge's theme. <sighs> they just had him copy it. In fact, Toriyano uses it too. In Van Sack Acid. I'm gonna fall asleep now. Don't do it, Phony, it's dangerous. If you wanna fall asleep, just put on some Monday Night Raw. It'll hey. work wonders. <laughs> I can stay awake through that. That's good remember, to hear, Batting Hat. Remember, I've slipped through cringe compilations. Yeah, but, but Monday Night Raw these days is the exact... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, 
It's the cure for insomnia. Oh, there's a lot of shows that are cures for insomnia. 13 Reasons Why is one of them. Uh, Love Live also being one of them. So if I had those 13 reasons, that show would be the 14th reason. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, damn. Did he use the left kick? Yeah, Crow Cop's going for blood. Wow, he survived. Newton survived the funeral kick. You mean the cemetery kick? Yeah, same thing. Cemetery, funeral, you know what I mean. Encounter it! Uh, no. Oh Dude. my gosh, oh, he's just oh, trying oh. to murder Newton here today. It's as if um, Carlos, like when they're getting ready in the backstage, Carlos Newton just went over to Crow Cop and said, Hey Crow Cop, you're a bitch. And then it's like, okay, uh, I'm going to ruin uh, you. Uh, I think boy. I know what happened. What happened, boy, Pony? Uh, Carlos stumped some fried chicken in. Oh! Bag. It's actually, time, it's actually time for me to go to the movie. I'm going to miss the rest of the first round. It's, a, it's okay, right. man. Have a good night. Ironically, Enjoy the movie. I just, I just, I just, I just came back from watching a movie. I'll, I'll be back. I'll what be movie back was that? Ten. Egyptian movie called uh, Someone Else. Okay. So who was someone else in the movie? I'll be back about 10, 10. Oh, uh, it was someone like who took, uh, right. I don't know what it's called in. It was a movie about uh, a person who took oh! a, who took something. I'm not. I don't know what it is in, uh, in English. God damn! But it's, like that. but it's like something that someone takes up the ass, basically. That's what it means. I don't know what it's uh, called in English. What in the a sodomite. Hell? And I think oh! a sodomite. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood. Yeah. This is a fight. And um, this. one day. And uh, one day he's his normal self, and another day his hair like uh, goes up or something like that. Kind of like how Shinsuke Nakamura looked in that 2004 Tokyo Dome match. Oh, uh, and he's like the more fun, wild out uh, version of himself. Like it's hard to explain. It's understandable. We'll I mean, find. The movie's oh. actually pretty. <laughs> how did he knock him out? <laughs> he kicked him in wow. the he back of the knee. The... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh kicked, my he god, he crippled him. <laughs> it, it looked he like crippled. he was... That was a fun fight. Uh, that's two upsets in a row. We had Matsui, a guy who's usually shit at MMA, beat Ogawa. Now we have Carlos Duden beat Krokop. Oh, you're going to love this you randomized matchup coming up, Batting Hat. Ryan Gracie versus ah uh, <laughs> in the first Look round. Look, history repeat. Wait, wait, I'm oh, no. remember. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, Gracie wait, wait, wait. lost. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which Gracie's uh, Kazusi Sakuraba beat. There was Ryan. Henzo, I believe. Yeah, Hoist, yeah, maybe. Ho yeah, Hoist. No, Hoist. He beat Hoist. He beat oh, Hoist. Oh. For ninety, they like they fought for ninety minutes, and then he fought Igor of Chanchin later on. What what the what kind of crack was Sakuraba on to like fight for ninety minutes? He was and then he tried to fight Igor uh, of No does, definitely no does. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, no Ryan Henzo uh, it's like a steroid. It was used by the Germans in the thirty-six Olympics. And Never heard of it. It's understandable. It's kind of a. It's one of those things nobody uses anymore for good reason. Like now, Walter White Smith. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, JM, what's your favorite Sakuraba moment? <clears throat> oh, when he embarrassed the uh, Hoist Gracie. Now, uh, Voodoo, what's your favorite Hoist Gracie moment? Uh, him losing a Sakuraba. And Pony, what's your favorite uh, Sakuraba versus Hoist Gracie moment? It was 90 minutes long. There has to be one part you love the most. The fact that it lasted 90 minutes. Hey, I see the patty here. Hey, Rasta, you're back. Rasta, do you want to hear the good news about the Aki Bono fight? Okay. It was like an 80% rating with Rampage Jackson. Good. It was yeah. an awesome fight. Yeah. We've had a lot of good fights and a lot of out of nowhere upsets. But let me tell you, <laughs> there was like, we had two out of nowhere match ends out of nowhere. Like, 
it, they were weird. You'd, I'm going to have to clip them so you could see them for yourselves to see our reactions because it was amazing. <laughs> wonder what I don't get. Why don't people try to go for 90 minutes more? Probably because it's too long. Uh, goddamn safety regulations. Let the men fight. Oh. Oh, he's clubbing him. <clears throat> well, not everybody Jesus can do Christ. it. He's clubbing him like how a kid that's demanding dessert now at the dinner table. Both arms is clubbing, clubbing like, in. He's clubbing him like a monkey. Well, I mean, Sakurama does have the figures, like, when it comes to the ears, that make you think he's a chimpanzee. Yep. He's got George hey, Bush Hey, that's ears. racist. No, it's not. It's George Bush ears. I, 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 war I think, yeah, I, I don't think, I think we everyone can make fun of George Bush at least once in their life. Isn't that right, JM? Yes. Okay. We can all we make fun of someone named George Bush at least once in our life. Oh, that, oh that, yes, that, 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 that's easy for me to do. <laughs> yeah. That is, like, very easy for me to do. Oh, look what he's doing. He's embarrassing he's Gracie. We already uh, got he's our embarrassing. Oh. I thought he was kicking them in the nuts while he was, like, flipping them around. That would have been funny. Oh! <laughs> we got our Bush memes, and we got our Obama memes. We... Man, memes... I like how the direction of memes have become nowadays. Because, like, originally it was, like, say, troll face, that feel when, stuff like that. Feels guy. But now it's, like, you could create a short story, and it could be a meme now. Yeah. Yes, or, like, uh, like Morbius. Or, uh, or, like, you like very, or you can have like a very, or you have like a very low quality JPEG of an apple and put in the caption APL. There's your meme. Yeah, it's like it's almost like this. It's memes have become more of art than art has become. Oh, yeah. Ikumura lock. That was a you great. Ikumura. Sakuraba did a great counter. Did anyone else see? He got up yeah. an arm bar. I never saw that animation before. Wow. And not just that, but there is an arm break sound effect, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, I need to listen to that. That's uh, the second time I heard a bone break sound effect. Reminds yes. me of WCW versus the world slash virtual pro wrestling when you win the match via submission by breaking the bone. And it, like, it sounds, it, it makes you cringe. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now the question oh. I got then is for everyone: How does the bone break sound effect? You, how do you usually create it in a movie? No you idea. Snap a chicken bone. Usually, oh, you get some celery stock, and then you just snap it. Oh really? God! I found some cursed shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone mentioned. Is Someone JM fall asleep? No, I said uh, no. I was going dee dee dee. Okay, dee -dee -dee. because of the dee -dee -dee. mic, it sounded more like like. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, oh, I'm yeah. right. Oh. Since uh, someone mentioned WCW games, and since we're doing an MMA stream, did anyone ever just just do a fake shoot fight in WCW revenge with two Eric Bischoff? No. Never. I, I never. Do that. I don't think anyone ever played as Eric Bischoff, unironically. <laughs> no wonder I did not buy the 2K22 NWO edition. It's because I don't want to play Eric Bischoff with a 69 rating. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. Wait, wait, hold on there, brother. You mean to tell me you don't want to play as me, Hollywood Hogan? Just a second. I already have Hulk Hogan. Pony just posted a good meme. It's like the superheroes trying to give it's lessons to kids. Lessons. <laughs> I it Even just reminds Batman me. Was, <laughs> Even Batman looks for his mom. But Batman our next, to his mom. But just a sec. Uh, the next fight we got here: Heath Herring versus Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. Who you guys got? Antonio Noguera. Gone with, with Big Nog. What a weird name. Yeah. But, Me, uh, I enjoyed this fight. 
Oh, that's right, because you got money on both of them. So either way, you get money from the betting table. Oh, God. I love these cursed images. Now, that's a good meme because, like, it reminds me of that old Farside comic. Has anyone ever heard of Farside? Just a heads up. Oh, no. Someone posted the legendary E. 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 Yo, pal, did yeah, you look at yeah, my meme? Yeah, watch the first. Uh, let's take a look at your meme again. E. Wait, wait, guys, did I say something? Sure. Even Batman listens to his mom. We're like the voices in his head. Oh. Ah, yes. Because he has a shitty little dick and no parents. That's a strange one you got there, Rasta. Speaking the of strange, I'm going to try and generate some art on this AIR generator real quick. Uh, Noguera's doing pretty good in this. Better than I thought he would. But uh, did you know Heath Herring, when he did Wrestle 1 stuff in Hustle, mm -hmm. you know who he was trained by? All right. The Funks. He would oh actually. Oh my god, I can just imagine. I can I, just imagine how that training is going. If I recall, at one of those Wrestle 1 shows, he tagged with Dory Funk Jr., and they were called like the West Texas Broncos. Uh, who? Uh, Heath Hearing and the Dory Funks Funk or Antonio? Uh, like the Funks. Who Which is Dory? probably. That's probably why in this game, Herring comes out to the Funk theme song. Hey, that Casey, makes a lot welcome. Of sense. We got a MMA tournament. We're just going to watch the first round for today and the, do the rest another day, but welcome. We got, counting this one, four fights left. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm going to look up some cursed wrestling images. No. Uh, I already know a good one. There is this uh, Toys R Us in Canada, and they had a giveaway where you can meet Chris Benoit. Oh my god! Oh, oh, yeah, no. oh my god! <laughs> Dude, yeah, you I... guys are wrong for that. Anyone? But yeah, him. I got this. Fuck up. It's bring your mom to Chris Benoit uh, day. Guys, I'm pretty oh, sure hell no! Hell I'm pretty no! Sure you guys mean... I'm pretty sure you guys mean Steven Richards. I mean, like, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who Crispin Noir guy is. Never heard of him in my life. Yeah, I'm about to see some crazy shit. Is. Oh, Ross says, is that a little Ken Oak ready to pounce on you at the door? Okay. This is, uh... <laughs> you know, I just realized none of the fights we've had have made it to the third round. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? We finally get a third round. Wait, wait, wait. Look at no mic chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. That cowboy hat picture is great. Wait. Yeehaw. Wait. How did he win? He choked okay. him out. Oh, okay. He choked him out. My gosh. Choked his dick in. Wait, he choked his dick in? Yep. Yes. Why would you... So, Nogera won by making Heath fap too hard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have a 3 seater F1. I've learned terrible things today. Uh, next one. <laughs> that is... I'm already traumatized. I'm already traumatized from a Twitter post I saw like a week or two ago. I can see why. Twitter is a place where just cursed people seem to hang out. I was watching. I do you know. You want, to, you, do you want me to tell you, or it's, or it's just, just how not cursed better. is it? Like, what's the topic? It's like a okay, gate so was, away from hell. So <laughs> I was, so I was on Twitter normally, and I saw a post about Becky Lynch. You know, from what she sent. And I'm like, yeah, cool. That's fine. Whatever. Really doesn't matter to me. And one of the replies that someone sent honestly made me disgusted. What so could they have possibly something... said, Batting Hat? What could they have said? They didn't say, they showed. How is there too much you... traffic on that site? You can, I... you can guess what it is. I think that's all I need to know. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. That is what, what is it with wrestling fans on Twitter? And like how weird they are to the wrestlers. JM, do you know what this is called? What? 
It's like, not like just that type that. of stuff. Like for when example, so there is like some Alexa Bliss stalker or something. Oh, no, wait, God. it's not just wrestling fans, it's just fans in general. Like uh oh, yeah, there was crazy. It's like it's like I recently I saw a picture from Jenna Ortega, who was also an actress in the new Scream movie that uh, re came out this year, uh, and acts as well. And like I saw like a Twitter post from someone who's like a mega simp and just really down bad. Like oh. I don't understand people sometimes. Yeah. Well, crazy fandoms can be a horrible thing. I remember the I remember the Steven Universe fandom dogpiled a fan <laughs> artist for drawing one of the characters a bit skinnier than she actually was. That's what? That yeah, so how does that? Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing I'll, you can I'll get look a job for. One sec. Well, uh, I, let, uh, we while you look it up, uh, this fight, time. Mike Bernardo Hidehiko Yoshida, K1 versus Pride, I believe. Yeah. Who do you guys I'm, uh, want? I'm gonna go with uh, Yoshida. All right, JM. Who do you got? Uh, wait, who's fighting? Because uh, my show's on. Mike Bernardo and Hidehiko Yoshida. <clears throat> uh, I think Mike Bernardo. All right, Casey. Who do you got? Uh, I'll go with Mike. I'm not a really big fan of Miss Muscle Eyes. Okay, understandable. Uh, Rasta. I've never, never heard of Mike Bernardo before. Uh, that that's understandable, because like I. Uh, wait a second. Then this guy almost commit. Didn't. Okay, never mind. I'm Bernardo's a Bernardo's a K one guy. Uh, okay. Well, the only thing K one I saw was Bob Sapp and Kazuyuki Fujita, and then the. Well, Shinsuke Mike Bernardo Naruto. was around during that time in K one. Yeah, but it's well, like know. he was more of an undercard guy, I think. Yeah, he won a K one tournament. Oh, I don't doubt that, but I mean, like when it came to <clears> big <throat> draws. He's not this gonna man was get like people killing people with like, one. This time, only, this guy at times was killing people with one punch. Only thing K1 that I saw was uh, Kazuki Fujita versus Bob Sapp and Shinsuke Nakamura's MMA fights. That sounds cool. Oh, you mean the infamous one where, where Inoki yeah, just yeah, where he the belt. faced off against uh, Alexei Inashov and got freaking destroyed with a knee. Okay, no, okay, according to this pure power, um, they tagged to work with the term fat phobia. What? Like, oh my that's gosh, like, people that's... just, I just don't understand people anymore, it feels like. Well, um, I mean, let's... It is... Man, he well, something happened crazy. that led to this. That's what I get thinking about. Yeah, I agree on that. But, I uh... just want fake humanity. I guess so. I, I'm kind of like, I don't know about, I'm kind of just, my mind's you know, kind of full of fuck get, right you now. Can get, you can legit get called racist because you, um, because you like me, like somebody's skin tone lighter. This happens to several Japanese artists, despite the fact that, you know, the stuff they use to draw, you can't draw it any more darker. And like yeah, and by the way, it's just art. It's not fact. It's not canon. It's like yeah, it's not a big deal. It's it's like their term fan art is a thing. Like I mean, how there's fan I'm, fiction, I'm rooting, which I'm nobody takes for, seriously. You know, wait, wait. I want to say something. Sorry. I'm rooting for Hirohiko Yoshida. Out time gone by. He broke like, his leg. He Oh wait, wait, god! Broke, Damn it! Life, broke... I just bought nice, 500 nice. fucking dollars on this fight. Wait, you actually bet on these? No. Oh, okay. If I do, I, I, I'm gonna be poor as a motherfucker. <laughs> wow, that that's this, the third time Hiroshiko. the bone breaks sound effect. But yeah. Can, bad Honest, can I can I say something? Yep. Really, uh, like a fact. Hirohiko Yoshida actually broke the arm of Don Fry. And Don Fry's arm is like five Conor McGregor legs in one. <coughs> oh wow! And not just that—that's the best uh, rating for a fight we had so far. It's not shocking, really. Yo, uh, Jug, is this truly the best fight of the tournament? Oh, we got two fights left for round one. We got Antonio Rogerio Nogueira. I probably mispronounced that, whatever. And Mark Hunt. Who do you guys got? Go with Noguera again. Noguera. 
Mogata. All right. Also, do you, but do you know what I hate about most fandoms with um batting hat? What? What I hate about most fandoms these days, I hate about how the fact that there are so many pro shippers. Oh, the shippers. Is this so this is so the many thing that you should not be by Metallica. Yeah, this is a me cover of a Metallica song. Oh, fuck. You, you, you understand what I'm saying, right, Betting Hat? Yeah, like the shipper is like, we want this and this to be together, even though they, sometimes they, they, it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, the shippers are the most annoying part. You can, you, if, you can, it's painfully obvious that they are only there for one specific part. They don't care about anything else. Yeah. Yeah, like those, uh, what was it, that Star Wars shippers recently with those trilogy, that trilogy. They are like the most, and they are so toxic. Well, of course. Yeah. If they don't of get course. what they want, they a big hissy fit, and they even stalk some of the actors and stuff. Uh, there was this part about um, like the WWE. This is, why, this, is, this, is why, this is why you know certain things like Star Wars becoming mainstream was just bad in general. Well, I mean, wait, it's wait, been uh, mainstream ever since day one, almost fifty years ago. I actually have a very interesting story to tell. Oh, sure, tell us. Uh, so remember at like the second season or the second, the, uh, yeah, second season <laughs> of WWE Tough, Tough Enough. Not off the top of my head. JM, do you remember it? Um, a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. anyone else? One where, the one where two female competitors won, even though it should have been one female and one male, but they swerved us. Bro? Probably because the male contestants weren't that good that year, maybe. I don't know. No, they were really good. One of them was so good, and they, like, they did not choose him for some reason, and they just decided to swerve. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, uh, one of the competitors Contestants in that uh, actually left and on TV it was like oh she couldn't take it anymore she uh, she got sick and she left but in reality uh, she actually like suffered a seizure or a mental breakdown or something like that and I don't mean by crying like she started hitting her head on a, um, a bunch of things and like she threatened to jump off a building it was really messy oh, what? What? What in that the was a I have seen my whole game that, was, that was faster than. Never mind. Uh, I was, I was... Yeah. A minute and two seconds. Oh, oh hey, uh, do everybody see. Uh, Ever Grande? Channel, Yeah, I saw sure some of your videos. Be... Oh, wow. I'm pretty... <laughs> I was just gonna make a joke about. Oh, never yeah, mind. I can upload the tweet so, uh, Wet Bloody Summer, but. If you want me to, if you want me to light sling a main show on heel, just let me know. Yeah, just uh, put was... it into the uh, creator's content. I mean, I mean, not, not, I talk about light sling on Discord. Oh, like if you yeah. want to invite people here, is that what you mean? Yeah, I guess yeah, like, uh, you know. Like, uh, all we have the video made, but I'm gonna upload it on YouTube someday. Uh, maybe, I don't, uh, I'm, because I was with all the fandoms, it's like, I can't really concentrate at the moment, but you could type it out to me. Now it's the last match of round one. Hayato, last, that, mock samurai. Uh, the 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 because of the match rating that the last match got and the uh, thing uh, and how the fast the match was. Just check what I wrote on the, my no mic chat. It, it sums it up perfectly. Oh dear gosh, that's awful. I know. That is uh yeah Hayato mock Sakurai versus Vanderlei Silva. Silva coming out to the ring right now. Who do you guys got? I'm rooting for Silva all day. Silva. Yeah, we have to go for Silva. Why is the New Japan ring announcer here? Did they, did they, did the Yakuza capture him and they kill his family if he didn't do the event? 
Well, it's because he's the only one that, hey, he's the only one that gives a shit about calling people their actual names. But you see, this is why gatekeeping is kind of good. Yeah, that's zero one, like the fourth ring announcer. I don't know what what his spelling is made out of. I yeah, like probably the marshmallow or something. Probably because all that f chocolate he eats. Because he's fat. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my, uh, sorry, because my, my, uh, I mean, I, I've been telling my dad to not eat chocolate at all and shit. So really, uh, kind of a parallel. Uh, well, hopefully nothing bad happens. All right, uh, here we go. Here final we go. match of the round one. Yeah, then we look over who's in round two, and then all that. Really? Sweetie? <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? 20 seconds. He's dancing to his Why theme song. The it gets... 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that and of course that's the worst rating of all the show matches. That was terrible, terrible. <laughs> that was horrendous. All right, yeah. let's take a look wow. at what we have for our round two fights in the future. We got Hoist Gracie, Gary Goodridge. We got Semi Schilt versus Mark Kerr. We got Hickson Gracie versus Rampage Jackson. We got Fedor versus Jerome LeBanner. We got Igor Vovchanchan versus Daijiro Matsui. We got Carlos Nudin versus Kazushi Sakuraba, a rematch. Then we got Antonio Rod Rodrigo Noguera against Hidehiko Yoshida. And then we have Antonio Rogerio Noguera versus Vanderlei Silva. My gosh, hopefully something good happens in this upcoming rounds. Because if Matsui wins another upset, I don't know how I'll react. Alright, see you all soon.